As a defense, you know, we definitely want to have that nastiness to us because, you know, it makes, makes offense respective. Like, damn, they're actually coming this hard. There's definitely a lot of trash talk, and um, I think I can be on the, uh, the trash talking side of that a few times. I think just, you know, being in the trenches, like middle drill, you know, during camp every day, we're in there in a the fist fight every single play. And as a defensive lineman, you kind of, you got to go dominate the guy in front of you. You got to shed his block and then you got to go run down the quarterback or the running back. So I think there's a lot more to it. And it's a very brute, like it's a brute position where you're in a fist fight every single play. And it ultimately, you know, if you don't bring it one play, there's, a, there's an old lineman across the, across the way. It might be 40, 50 pounds heavier than you, a little stronger than you. That's going to mow you over. So you got to bring it every single play. I mean, it's definitely a very, um, you know, demanding position. And I like embracing that, kind of being one of like the tough guys on the field and kind of being one of those guys that like, you're not going to move me, I'm going to get through you type of deal. So, I mean, I definitely think it's got a very, very brute position. I mean, there's definitely a lot of work that's behind the scenes that, you know, fans and other people just don't see. Those guys across us are usually, like you said, 50, 60 pounds more than you and definitely stronger than you in the weight room. You got to use your technique and learn how to get around them and all those types of things. So, I mean, some of us might be beat up and they think we might be playing sorry out in the game or whatnot, but you know, practice sometimes puts the toll on players and whatnot. So, you know, I mean, just being tough minded every single day, you know, um, there's a lot of things that we do that y'all don't see behind the scenes. I mean, I think the mental side is everything. You know, a lot of players, you know, complain whether or not they're playing, they're not playing enough and stuff like that, but your head's not on right, you know what I'm saying? You always gotta have that mental first because that comes first before anything. If you come out there and you're like, man, why are we practicing? why we have to do this, why we have to do that. You gonna, you beat from the start, you know what I'm saying? So you definitely got to go out there with a positive attitude and you want to beat the man across you every single time. No, he's, he's exactly right. I mean, you know, mentally, just having your head in the game, knowing what you're getting into, you're getting into a fist fight for four quarters or if you're in practice, you got middle drill, you got half line drill, you got one-on-ones, stuff where it really comes down to whether who wants it more. The game doesn't care about how you feel or how, how, how you act or you know, what happened the day before. All it cares about is here and now, and what are you going to do to beat the man across from you? Third down and three for Newman and company. Newman chased out of pocket. He's going to be sacked. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I need all that. There's definitely a lot of trash talk, and um, I think I can be on the, uh, the trash talking side of that a few times, but um, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you're going against that same guy pretty much every single play. So if you got a little smack to talk, you come out for the next uh, next drive, that, that offensive lineman or even that tight end for some of you DNs, like he'll have that what you said in the back of his head and he's going to use that as fuel. And, and if you're kind of mellowed down after like a, as, after a drive goes by, you know, he can come out and kind of get you. So I think that trash talk can either benefit you very well or, or, or not too much. Oh, for me, I definitely talk a lot of trash to a lot of people. So I mean, <laughs> It's either going, I'm either going to get the best of them or they're going to get the best of me. You know, I kind of use it as momentum to feed off my game. You know what I'm saying? Bad stuff going on. You might, they might talk about your peoples, your girl or something like that. But mm -hmm. definitely, you know, everybody's just out there competing. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all love. You know, everybody daps up be like, yeah, man, we just talking, talking crap. You know, it's mm -hmm. a game. But, um, yeah, I definitely talk a lot of crap. So, I mean, I definitely want my opponent to definitely be playing at their best level. So, I kind of want... I kind of talk trash on purpose, you know, to try to boost them up and boost myself up as well. I, I think it's a little bit more when the stakes are high. You know, when you're playing a big time team, a ranked team or a night game, I think that kind of intensifies it a little bit more. That kind of brings it, brings it out of you a little bit more when the lights are a little brighter and, you know, when it's crunch time, when you got to make, when defense has to step up and get the offense back on the field late in the fourth quarter. I think those type of things kind of amp that up and kind of put more fuel to the fire. Go! 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 Yeah. Um, you know, tapping Tillich, I think that's a great, great opportunity. You know, them coming in, great opportunity for the D-line, great opportunity for the team itself. You know, we got a D-line coach who's been in the league 10 plus years, you know, teaching the best players, teaching and having the best defense in the league and whatnot. So, you know, Tillich definitely brings that NFL factor to us. He's very plugged in to all those scouts, all the NFL coaches. So, you know, definitely the whole team just needs to keep that in mind if they try and play at the next level. And then, you know, Tap just, Taps was a dog. He was a dog in the dog. NFL. So, you know, 10 plus years, you know, that's a resume. You know, average NFL career is what, three years or two years or whatever it is. 
he has a resume, you know, he put on, he put on the NFL, he definitely did his thing. Both TNT, you know, I like that, I like that name, TNT, you know, Dynamite, you feel me? Because it's definitely, we got a one-two punch with that over there, so mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Yeah, man, the amount of experience between the two of them is, is ridiculous. Like, I don't know of, there could be, I don't know of any other, you know, team in the country that has two defense line coaches with that much experience in the National Football League. Tier Link has an incredible amount of knowledge. He knows schemes. He knows how to, you know, beat some, certain protections. He knows what to do versus mass protections. Twist games is going to change for us. I mean, that guy's kind of been around. He's coaching a Super Bowl. He, he knows exactly what, like, what he needs from us, and he's going to implement that. And then Tap, like I said, he, that dude, he's just a dog. And um, he, he was around a few times before he got this job. And I can kind of just see the, the fire in the guy's eye when he stepped back on campus. Like, this is where he wants to be, and you know, you know he don't want to be anywhere else. And he knows what it takes. I mean, he played for Bud Foster. He's one of Bud Foster's you know, best players he's ever coached. He knows what um, you know, Inner Sandman's about. He knows what the lunch pail is all about. You know, all of our workouts that he comes to, our Colorado's in the morning, he's wearing cleats. He's, he's trying to get after it, too. And we were going over some D-line stuff afterwards, and he was showing us, and that boy can move, man. He looks like he can still get it right now, but just the, the amount of excitement and eagerness that they both have to, you know, be here and just, you know, they're, they're always just texting and calling, like, you know, I'm always wanting to watch more film with them, getting, getting the study with them, and point out things that uh, better our pass rush. I mean, they, they have the knowledge, the skill set is there. We just got to implement it and go to work for them. And, um, I'm really excited for those two guys to be, um, you know, at the home.